Uh, Brian Bagwandan, CEO of, of uh, Recalibrate Solutions. In the 1990s, the United States Center for Disease Control discovered that a dysregulated stress system resulting from childhood adversity substantially increases the risk for seven of the 10 leading causes of death in America. If unaddressed, a dysregulated stress system will disrupt brain and immune system development for children. It's estimated that 24 million children in the United States are living with a dysregulated stress system. And those individuals have triple the lifetime risk for lung cancer, uh, um, cardiovascular disease, stroke, and potentially a 20 year decrease in life expectancy. Today, there are no tools that can effectively monitor stress system health. And that means we have no objective way to identify the kids who are struggling and suffering and connect them with the help they need. At Recalibrate Solutions, we want to change that. Imagine if there were an inexpensive, portable medical device that could provide quantitative measure of stress activation with laboratory accuracy in five minutes. Well, that's what we've developed. The system consists of a disposable test strip, a small reader, and some analysis software. We've used the system with several children and adults and demonstrated a 98% correlation between our results and the results coming from current clinical laboratory testing methods. So let's talk about the opportunity. In the US, there are 200,000 physicians serving 74 million children. Quarterly assessments provides a $6 billion total addressable US market. We wanna start with kids who are in, a, in the high stress environment of private schools, which provides a $400 million um, serviceable market. And after placing a thousand units in four years, we will be able to generate $40 million in annual recurring revenue. <clears throat> that revenue will be generated through a razor, razor blade model and we're happy to say that billing codes are available for reimbursement in the US. At every level, stakeholders are demanding this kind of tool. 96% of physicians surveyed said they would utilize cortisol measurements as a way to monitor stress system health in kids. The American Academy of Pediatrics recommends that every child be screened for stress system health at every wellness visit. At the state level, New Jersey has created an Office of Resilience for children, and California has mandated screening. At the national level, we've been approached by the Maternal and Child Health Bureau because they're interested in incorporating cortisol measurements in their home visitation programs. If we can end the stress system struggle, that our dysregulation struggle that our kids are experiencing, we can reduce healthcare costs in North America by $750 billion. We can increase achievement, we can reduce learning disabilities, and we can build a healthier, happier future for millions of children. Let's partner together. Thank you for your attention, and I'm happy to answer any questions. Um, do you, uh, or can you track, like, on, like, let's say, 24 basis, the stress level from kids, or is it at least one-offs only? It is, it is, at this point, it is a, uh, a single point measurement, and uh, we refer to it as a monitoring tool because uh, we want to look at uh, the time course of, of how well uh, the stress system is, is functioning. And so we see this as something that you incorporate into, um, into standard of care. We monitor yeah. the cardiovascular system, respiratory, and you know so many other systems during uh, normal development, and we need to start incorporating stress system uh, yeah. monitoring as well.